Good afternoon. My name is Larry Clayman. I'm the founder of both Judicial Watch and now Freedom Watch. I'm currently the chairman and general counsel of Freedom Watch. I want to talk to you today about the state of the world. We face the potential for a nuclear war or an EMT attack. That's when a nuclear missile comes over, detonates over the horizon in the atmosphere and knocks out our power grid. We would literally become a Stone Age population. It's been estimated that 90% of the American population would die within a year if our power was blacked out. Now we face a situation today with North Korea and with Iran that has been perpetrated, frankly, by no leadership on either the Democrat or Republican side in Washington, D.C. God only knows where they have been for all this time, and I've been urging them to act with regard to Iran, now North Korea. During the administrations of President Clinton, President George W. Bush, President Barack Obama, little to nothing was done about the development of nuclear weapons in North Korea and intercontinental ballistic missiles. And we know that North Korea has been collaborating with Iran, and although there's this so-called treaty or agreement that Iran's not going to produce atomic weapons for 10 years, most experts believe they already have them or can put them together very, very quickly. But these two rogue nations, these two, in effect, terrorist nations, they're both on the terrorist watch list, at least they were before Obama took Iran off, these people are out to destroy the United States and Western allies. And where has Senator McCain been? Where has Barack Obama been? Where was George W. Bush? Where was everybody else when this was happening? Now we have a real, real, real problem, and that's an understatement, where North Korea has the ability to deliver an intercontinental ballistic missile, at least right now, as far as Alaska and Hawaii. Soon it'll be Los Angeles, then it'll wind up being New York. And really, the only option here, economic sanctions have never worked. They haven't worked with North Korea. We've tried that. They haven't worked with Iran. They're on the verge of assembling a nuclear weapon. The only time they worked in history was with South Africa, and that was because the entire world was involved when they got rid of apartheid there, but it's never worked. So the only option here is a military option, and people may think that I'm way out there, but I honestly believe that our military needs to wage a surprise massive attack on North Korea and take out their military establishment, take out their government establishment, before it's too late. Because one missile getting through, just one, detonating over the horizon, over the atmosphere, can knock out all of our power, knock out all of our computers. They don't have to be real precise, and this country would be back in the Stone Age. You know, there was a TV show about this, a series, it may still be going on, I don't know, called Revolution, where people just walked around like zombies because the complete power grid and everything about civilized society had been destroyed. There are companies out there selling generators right now because of the potential. That won't really solve it either. But it's time for the country to sober up. It's time for the country to do the hard thing. And if they do a military strike, they must flatten North Korea completely. Not kill civilians, try not to, but flatten the military and government establishment. It must be done by surprise, and it must be massive. So this is my message for today. Sorry, guys, that we're in this situation, but now you've got to get some cojones and do what needs to be done, because now you have threatened, through your inaction, Democrats and Republicans, this country and the rest of the world, and we are at great risk. God bless you, God bless America, God save America, and let us all pray.